How you doing? John Longan here, SalmonSound.com. Videos about music, videos about sound, articles, knowledge sharing, you know the deal. We're going to sample this in structure. We're going to make a quick chop in structure in Pro Tools because I love Pro Tools. All right, so just drag that over. Your browser is really handy. Now we're going to edit. So here's the sample. So we're not, you know, we're not going to use all, all the whole thing. And uh, what we got to do for starters, we're going to zoom in a little bit here after we get things done. You just want to make this on the very first key, right? So it's just, actually that's two keys, we go with one. All right, so let's cut it down a little bit. And uh, I'm actually not sure. See if we can copy two times, because all we're gonna get is the kick, hat, and snare. Um, so that we can uh, just do something simple with it. So, let's zoom in over here on this first one. And uh, we're going to grab just the kick. You want to um, make your ending right before the hi-hat there. And then kind of um, fade it out so you don't get any nasty sound. Moving on over the hat. Zoom in here. This is super quick. It's even quicker if you want to edit the audio in Pro Tools and then drag them in to structure. I didn't have time though um, to be messing with like battery. Uh, I like battery, but you know, learning curve. I need to know better than that and just go with stuff you know. Here's uh, here's some advice for you if you want to learn how to make electronic music production, blah, blah, blah. Find something that you know how to use and don't bother using other stuff because really you're trying to be prolific and um, creative and just let, uh, let, let ideas come out. And you need tools to do that, but... There are so many tools out there and so many new ones coming out all the time. Just be careful not to get too excited about plugins because I'll tell you a secret. I purchased Auto-Tune when it came out, um, you know, a while ago. I don't like that sound. Let's see if we can get a better snare sound. This is a good learning experience. There's, maybe let's try that one. I don't like that one much better either. Check in out some more snares. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Got the extra little flam. Let's do that. All right, so we got all of our sounds, right? Now, here's the trick. When you are in zone, um, on the zone tab, when you're in the zone, when you're on the Zone tab, you can um, edit all these parameters for the certain sample. See how it's uh, down here? See how um, it's changing when you're highlighting these things? Well, go up here, highlight all of them, right? And then um, make them an exclu exclusive group. 
uh, because we want it to sound kind of choppy. I do. I want it to sound that way. I'm making this music right now, so um, that's what we're doing. And uh, release. We need to find the amp release. Come over here. And uh, you don't want to do that. You want to grab the whole thing. Bring it up. Check out how it sounds. All right. I like the sound of that. So we're going to go over here. Grid. Man, we had to save that video. Going back to make the chop now. Let's quit while we're ahead. <laughs> this is SimonSound.com. Gian Long in here. Making a quick chop out of some unnamed sample. So, I suppose we can't be held responsible for that, but maybe we can. Who cares? That's the deal. Structure. Pro Tools. Making a quick chop. The video is too long. SalmonSound.com for more videos and more information. <laughs> <laughs> 